Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. Today's video, I'm gonna tell you the secret that everybody's been holding back on that's gonna help you lose weight and build muscle. Let's dive in. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another video. Glad you're here. Today we're going to talk about the secret that's really going to help you lose weight and build muscle. Because there's got to be a secret, right? There's no way that all these guys and girls on Instagram that you see can be in that good a shape when you've tried everything, you've tried all these different diets and workouts, they just don't seem to work. There's got to be something that everyone's holding back on, right? That's the complete mystery of why they look so good. And I'm here to tell you there is. There's a secret pill that the weight loss industry doesn't want you to know about. And it's it's one of a kind and only a few people can get a hold of it. And the way that you get a hold of it, and I'm gonna tell you how to do that, is you've got to know somebody and you've got to have a lot of money and you've got to watch a certain program and subscribe to this certain uh, company and buy their you know subscription service and their workouts and then only then will you have access to this secret information but again I'm here to share it with you can you feel the sarcasm I know most of you guys will probably click this shit off because you don't want to hear the truth because you know that I'm about to get real but that's what you need to hear and that's really what you wanted to hear and that's why I made the title that you clicked on in the beginning of this video like that you're like oh god what is it dude what is it there's got to be something like shut up and tell me already I've tried everything here's the crazy thing about the fitness and the nutrition industry is they've done an amazing job of scrambling the hell out of people's minds and feeding them tons of misinformation and marketing the shit out of all these weird workouts and fad diets that aren't sustainable over time. Often what happens when people come to me for the first time, we start working together, you know, we do a consultation, we talk about what their goals are. And everybody always says, you know, I've been eating healthier, I've been cutting down on carbs, you know, I've been doing some hit workouts or like, you know, and it's just basically this huge like mishmash of information of different shit they've heard on the internet or diets they've tried. Or man, I tried Herbalife shakes and I was on that for six months and you know I lost a bunch of weight but when I got on the weight came right back on and I wonder let's look at that for a second why is that well because when you do juicing or you do low carb or you do you know uh, Herbalife or whatever the hell these different things are Atkins diet all this shit which is low carb you have to ask yourself if that's sustainable and for most people the way they go to lose weight it's not sustainable they start you know, they, th it's the same story with pretty much everyone. You, you know, your weight builds up over time. You get busy with your career. You get married. You get in a relationship. You have kids, right? And then it just starts to build up over time. And then one day you get to the point where you're like, God, I feel like crap. I look like crap. I need to do something about this. So you start looking on the internet and you look on the internet and you go, man, there's all this information. There's all these great diets. There's all these great workout plans. You know, do I join, um, uh, you know, some F45 high intensity class and, and all this stuff? Or do I, you know, do I start by just going no carbs and all these things because that's what I've heard, but you don't really know. And then there's all this information that just confuses you. So then people will try some of these things and they might see a, an initial loss in weight and change in their body because it's something different than they've been doing. But the reality is it's not sustainable. So you go, oh, I'm going to go on a juice cleanse. I lost 10 pounds in three weeks. Well, yeah, because you're only drinking freaking juice. You know, your body's not eating anything and it's not sustainable. You know, when, uh, you know, what Thanksgiving is literally tomorrow, what do you, when holidays come around, what, you're just going to live off your, you know, juices and then all of a sudden you have a turkey dinner, you gain eight pounds overnight and you go, I don't understand what the hell is going on. It's because your body's been depleted uh, and it's a lack of information, education on how these metabolic systems work in order to create a physique that you want that is a sustainable lifestyle that would give you the body that you want. So what is this secret pill? What is this secret you know, thing, the secret uh, thing I've been holding back on. So um, it comes in three parts. Um, the first part, the first secret part is this. It's called get. Um, it's really important to do that you get. You know, you've got you've got to have this part of the equation in the pill. 
in order to lose weight. The second one's called off, and you've got to have this second part of the pill in the equation to make sure that everything works, and this is really the key ingredient. The third one is the most important part, and without this third one, you'll never have this secret recipe. The last one is off your ass. So you've got to get off your ass. <laughs> <laughs> and that's the secret of it, man. I know you hate me and you're probably thinking like, oh dude, F you, this is so stupid. I should have never clicked on this video. This guy's an idiot and blah, blah, blah. And you're all triggered about it. Because if you did click on it, you're probably looking for some kind of quick fix and some kind of like miracle cure that was going to help you instantly lose weight. No, no, no. Dude, the people that you see on Instagram, the dudes and the women that you see, they are living a lifestyle, man. They're living a certain sort of way where they prioritize sleep, they drink tons of water. I'm sure they eat out, you know, go have dinner with friends and stuff, but they're not like binging on McDonald's. They're not skipping meals, their metabolism's balanced, they're consistently getting stronger and focusing on building muscle. These are the things that it takes. Uh, one of the stories I'll share with you is I've been um, starting to get a lot of traction on uh, social media, Instagram in particular. And I'm having a lot of people, random people that I don't know, and also a lot of my peers, they're all asking me, they're like, dude, you know, what are you doing? Like, what's the secret? What are you, you know, what, what camera are you using? Like, what's going on? You know, how are you doing this? And uh, I was on the phone two days ago with a good buddy of mine. He lives in Hawaii, and he's not really on social media at all, and we were talking about it. And he told me, I was telling him what was happening, and he told me, he goes, dude, you know why you're starting to get traction? He's like, cause you have like 200 plus posts since like the end of April. He's like, there's no secret to it, dude. You're doing the work. Like there's, there's nothing to figure out. Like you've been putting in the work and posting every day and it's starting to click for you and you're getting better at it. And like now it's starting, starting to pick up. He's like, there's no secret behind it. And I looked at it and I was like, shit, you're right, man. I was like, that's all it is. Like that's all that it is. So these guys, these girls that you see, you know, and, and if you didn't understand me, to be very clear, there is no secret, <laughs> um, you know, and that's the, that's the shitty part about it. It's about educating yourself on how this works, like in a sustainable way and not doing some fad diet, some fad workout. Most people want the same. They want to, for guys, they want to build this lean muscular physique. When they take their shirt off, they look ripped and have a six pack. Every fucking man, I shouldn't say that, but 99% of men are capable of doing that. Women is the same thing. They want to have a tight toned flat midsection. They want you know, peach booty with defined arms and shoulders and a nice upper body with a fatty. That it, dude, you can do that. 99% of women are able to achieve that. Most people don't understand is you have to live like a very particular, very disciplined, monotonous, boring ass lifestyle to do that. Now, once you achieve it, it's a lot easier to maintain, but to initially get there, you've really got to put in years of work, man. You really do. And it's the same thing if you're out there and you're out of shape, but maybe you're super successful in business. Think about it with your business. You got there by doing the same boring ass things over and over and over by grinding out your marketing, by grinding out your systems, by grinding out sales calls, by going out and meeting clients, by doing a good job with the people that you had. And you just did it over and over and over and over again. And you did it repetitively and you did it really well. And then all of a sudden you've built a successful business. It's the same thing with any of your relationships, any relationships that you had, if you've got, whether it's romantic or just friendships, these are friendships that you've put time into. You've enjoyed spending time and invested in this other person and the connection that you have with them. And you've put in time and effort over an extended period of time. And it's created this strong foundation for a relationship. And now you have beautiful friendships, um, you know, partnership with a significant other, whatever it is, you know, business partnership, it's time invested doing the simple things over and over, over an extended period of time. And it's not glamorous. The only thing that I think that sets people apart that I'm learning that are successful, that have built a social media following, that have built a business, that have built a, a good looking physique, they've just been willing to do the boring ass things over and over and over and over again over and over and over again. There's no secret to it. So building a social media, all I've been doing, posted, posted a video. Uh, yesterday I posted two, I'll post two today, I'll post two tomorrow. In the beginning I would post one, just post one video a day, post another video, post another video, post another video. And it's literally that boring and there's no special secret sauce to it. You just gotta do it. Most people overthink it though and think they need to be all perfectly set up with a camera and a microphone and all this shit and you don't. And I get it because I was there. But now that I've been doing it, what I've realized is this. 
Dude, no one's looking at my Instagram post from even a week ago. No one cares what I put out. Se- no one cares what I put out three days ago, dude. No, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like these YouTube videos, I'm putting them two a week. I've been doing it for like months and months and months now. No one's watching these things, man. You know, but I'm doing it because I love doing it. And I know that I'm still giving value by sharing these certain lessons that I'm learning. And that if you're catching this video at the right time, you may be at a point in your journey where this message will resonate with you and it'll click and it'll understand and help you like focus and think, okay, this is a long-term deal. This is a long-term journey. He's right. Like I don't need, it's nothing fancy. It's just committing to the process and doing it over and over again. I know my YouTube channel will end up blowing up, especially when I spend more time editing. Once my business is in a certain place, I'll spend my energy expenditure and focus will go to maintenance level for my business and maintaining what I've built and then I'll focus on the YouTube in order to make my videos sexier and like how can I grow and like you know um, what resources do I need to um, explore in order to expand my audience and how do I you know share my videos to more people and platforms and it'll 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 change but right now this is on like let's just be consistent let's put in the work and do what you said you're gonna do and I know that just by continuing to focus on posting two videos a week, even if they're not to the quality level that I want, it doesn't matter. I'm in the habit of making videos and eventually it'll pay off when I start investing more time into the higher quality production level content that I'm capable of and what I'm doing. Right now, again, I have a very um, strategic plan that I'm following and it's to grow my coaching business in the immediate, right? So I can, you know, pay my bills and get you know, make sure I'm I'm saving and, and growing my business and have a good trajectory and system on that. That's what my time needs to be right now. And honestly, probably for the next like six, six to eight months, especially. And then eventually I will get to the point, like I said, where I'll make these super nice YouTube videos, but it's not glamorous, man. It's not glamorous. Like I'm just getting here on, on camera twice a week and I'm making sure that I upload two videos of quality content and value. And so the value today that I wish to impart on you is that you have to get over this One, perfectionism that you need this certain um, camera gear or setup or something in order to get started or it has to be the perfect time or you have to wait for X, Y, Z and blah, blah, blah. You don't have to wait. Get on your freaking phone right now. You can upload a YouTube video in 20 minutes. Literally that simple. But you think you have to have this script or a lot of people, they're afraid of what other people think, whether they admit it or not. And so they're just afraid to get started and put themselves out there because criticism and negativity will come as you put yourself out there. And that's really scared, scary for a lot of people. Um, and I've already started dealing with trolls and it's funny, again, you don't know what it's like to deal with trolls until you deal with them for the first time. So when you start putting stuff out and you get them, you know, the first time I, I just felt sympathy for this dude who was like, trying to like really shit on like like Instagram posts. I was like, dude, you must be in a bad place, man. Like this is just a video of me like working out with like a positive message from, you know, a public figure as like a, you know, inspirational thing. Like, Hey, you can do this, you know, get out of your mind. Okay. And like this person got triggered. They left like three different comments, like all negative, like, Oh man, you're not smart enough to, and it just was like crazy. I was like, dude, I'm so sorry. Like, I don't know what you're going through, man, but I'm like, so I, I'm sorry. You're so mad at the world, you know? And I tried to like, I really felt for him cause I've been there and you know, he, and I really, and he was like, you know, he responded and he was like, said something like, Oh, I made you mad, huh? Or something. And I was like, Oh my God, dude, my heart just felt so much like sadness and like sympathy and compassion for this person. I'm like, damn dude, this guy's just like so desperate for attention. Like he was just trying to like make me upset. And I was like, no man. I was like, I'm, I'm just sending you tons of love. Like, I'm sorry. You know, but I realized like after that interaction and I've had, you know, many others now is that he was just desperate for attention because he's hurt. And so I realized like, okay, the best way to deal with trolls is honestly, you just don't waste any energy on them because all they want is attention, right? They're just trying to trigger you because they need attention and whatever your message was, your energy, whatever, it's just triggering their own shit that they're not healing or unwilling to heal or whatever. So the best way to do it is just ignore it because honestly, it's just a waste of energy to interact because they just want to pull you in and like, you know, try to pull some of your energy because they see that you're on a good trajectory. So I would have known that unless I would be putting myself out there and dealing with, well, now I, now that I've dealt with it and it, you know, it's going to continue to come and more and more and it's all good. Now it's like, it doesn't even matter. It's the same thing, you know, um, whether you're, uh, 
uh, someone you know trying to get good at a job, right? Like sales. You don't know how to sell until you just go and get rejected a bunch. Um, you don't know how to build a business until you just start trying to build a business. You don't know how to get on camera until you just get on camera. You don't know how to get in shape and start to lift weights properly until you just start getting in the gym. You don't know how to speak French until you start taking French lessons and just trying to start to speak French. You see, you see what I'm saying? Like you just gotta do it. You gotta let everything else go. You just gotta do it. And you just gotta do it consistently and you gotta not be afraid to screw up. There is no magic pill. So when it comes to weight loss and it comes to fitness, as I will impart this value on you, it's a lifestyle, man. You go to the gym and then you go to the gym again and then you go to the gym again and then maybe you miss a day, who cares? Then you go again the next day or you miss three days, who cares? Then you go again and you get back on it and then you eat healthy and then you eat healthy and then you eat healthy and then you eat a burger and then you eat a pizza and then you eat ice cream and then you eat healthy and then you eat healthy and then you see what I'm saying like there's no sh there's no secret formula this shit it's consistency over a long period of time so don't try to put so much pressure on yourself do these fad diets and these fad workouts work like either educate yourself like properly or put time and effort into you know studying this and getting it right or work with a professional the best thing i've ever done for myself is work with mentors every time i've worked with a mentor and spent money on it it's paid itself back a hundred times over um, a thousand times over unlimited to be honest um, and it's been invaluable the bodybuilding coach i work with right now the business mentor and coaching program i work with right now more money than i've ever spent on coaching and programs but the knowledge of a good coach and getting that value and understanding from people who have done it, it you can't put a dollar amount on it. It's so important. So work with a coach if you wanna get in shape and lose weight. Understand what they're teaching you. Understand, ask them questions, educate yourself. Like Stick it out until you see the results you want because when you see the results you want for real, then you'll understand how it works. One of my favorite quotes of all times from Benjamin Franklin, and he says, uh, tell me and I'll forget teach me and I'll remember, involve me and I'll learn. And that's what it is. You have to be involved in the experience of what it means to really build a muscular lean physique, whether you're a man or you're a woman. And again, there's no secret pill. You've got to go and lift weights and you've got to do it in a structured way that you get stronger progressively. And you've got to consistently eat enough protein and the right amount of calories. And that over an extended period of time will build the body that you want. It's that simple. Yes, there are details and there are structures, but it's not about fad diets and shit. It's not about, it's about creating balance. There's, it's very simple. Like there's, it's a lot easier than people make it out to be. So take the time to educate yourself and understand the take home message for today. Be patient with yourself. Take it step by step, but you just gotta do the thing. You just gotta do the thing. And you gotta do it over and over and over again. And it's not glamorous and it's not sexy. But what happens is when you instill that level of consistency and discipline and you start to see the results, like I am with social media, like you, I am with my body, like you will with your body or you have in the past with your business or your family or whatever it is that you've invested your time in and you've seen those things improve, that's all it is, man. You just put your attention and energy in it and be consistent over a period of time, do the boring things that you need to do and you will see massive success. And that's what I'm learning this journey is all about. When you learn, you make mistakes and you pivot and you grow from those things and that's just kind of, this is how this is how the process works with anything. So get out there, go and do the thing and let me know if you have any questions. Uh, if you want help specifically with fitness coaching, I can help you with that absolutely and really teach you and educate you on how to be your own trainer and how to understand and change your relationship with food and your understanding of how um, truly changing your physique works. So uh, I have a link in my bio if you wanna apply for coaching one-on-one. -on -one. Feel free to leave any comments if you have any questions about anything. Uh, like and subscribe to the channel if this was helpful. I got a lot more good stuff coming for you. Stay tuned. I appreciate you. I love you. And we'll see you next time. Peace.